Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a book called Jane Eyre. So it's about a girl named Jane, and she's an orphan. So she has to go to live with her awful Aunt Reed. One day, a man appears at her doorstep. His name is Mr. Lloyd, and he convinces Miss Reed to let Jane go to school. So she travels 50 miles all alone in a carriage all the way to Lowood Institution. There she meets one of her favorite teachers. Miss Temple. She's a kind lady. Jane works hard at Lowood Institution until she can, because she wants to become a governess. She studies hard in French and the, all the other subjects. She eventually meets a girl named Helen Burns. She knows she realized it was Helen because Helen was the one who always got yelled at in class for doing absolutely nothing. So eventually, Jane went up to Helen one silent period, and she asked, Why do you let the teacher scold you like that? If they talked to me like that, I would have talked back. But then Helen said that she just let it go, because it wasn't any good to, to fight back. Eventually, they became best friends. But then, a virus hit, and half the kids at Lowood Institution died. And this included Helen, but Helen didn't get the virus. She got something else that made her have a hard time breathing. One night, Jane decided she had to visit Helen. And that was the night that Helen died. Eventually, Jane finished her studies and moved on without Helen. There, she mailed, she put an ad into and mailed it, saying that if anyone needed a governess who, need, who could also speak French, to hire her. Eventually, she goes and meets at Gateshead Hall, where she teaches a little girl. A little girl. And then there's this owner. His name is Mr. Rochester. And they eventually fall in love. But then Jane discovers his secret. His wife, which is a crazy lady, he has her hidden in an attic. The day they're getting married, someone comes over, interrupts the marriage, and tells Jane all about Mr. Rochester's first wife. Then, after, Jane decides that she has to leave the place. When she later comes back, she discovers that Gateshead Hall has been burned to the ground. She also learns that Mr. Rochester went back in to save all the servants before getting himself out of there. But in, while doing this, he burned his face really badly. And since he was never considered the pretty type before, he looked even worse now. Jane came to visit him, and eventually, Jane admitted that she still loved him and decided that she still wanted to marry him. And that was the end of the story. So, I wanted to read you a passage in this book. So, um, it's when... It's the first time Jane talks to her cousins, but she doesn't know that it's her cousin yet. So, the person says, I am Diana Rivers, she said. This is my brother St. John and my sister Mary. What is your name? It is Jane, I said. Jane Elliot. At that time, Jane didn't know if she could trust them, so she made up her last name into Elliot instead of Eyre. Now, this book I really think we should read because it shows that even when Jane was an orphan, she, she still worked really hard to get to her dreams to become a governess. That's all for today. Bye-bye.